Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're not new, welcome back. Let's get into today's video. Seems like, all right, Megan Thee Stallion is back. All right, she's back and it's official. Um, her single Cobra, okay, is coming out very soon, okay? And it has like this jungle aesthetic or whatever. Um, you know, she got her ass out like always, okay? Um, she half naked as always, okay? Um, so I can't really say I'm excited for it because it, it just gives me the same old, same old. Uh, maybe if she has some clothes on, um, I'll be more interested because it'll mean that it's something new, okay? But I am excited, though, for, like, you know, the hotties, okay? The hotties, they've been on the drought. You know, they deserve it. You know, they've been they've been struggling, okay? Bozos flop, Bozos came out. Bozos just came and went. Bozos was okay. And they, you know, they kind of starving over there. I'm not going to lie to you, you know? Everybody else is starving right now. But I do think that Megan is going to have a good little comeback era. Um, you know, people miss her. You know, people miss her. They like, you know, what she brings to the table. Even though every time she brings her plate to the table, um, everybody leaks from the table. Nobody's eating it. AKA, she drops her music and nobody's streaming it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Shoot. Oh, I shouldn't have been <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to be shady at all. I promise you I'm not. It just kind of happened for me to say that while I'm on the topic of Megan. So, yeah, it's no shade. I promise you I'm not trying to be shady at all. That was... It just happened to be. I caught myself. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, y'all. It seems like, you know, people are trying to say that apparently Nicki Minaj has ruined Ice Spice's career. Um, Winter from Bad Girls Club. Winter says, I feel like Ice Spice went silent after she signed with Nicki. I wonder why. I miss her. LOL. Okay. The Ice Spice says, this is why you stay getting dragged. Cry baby, no having ass. No career having ass, bitch. I miss you too. LOL. Okay. Now, in my opinion, ever since Ice Spice has been working with Nicki, her bag went up. She, after she collabed with Nicki, she got a song with Taylor Swift. Okay, after she collabed with Nicki, okay, she got featured on a Barbie soundtrack. After she collabed with Nicki, it was announced she's going on a world tour with Doja Cat. After she announced, after she collabed with Nicki, all right, she has been on SNL. After she collabed with Nicki, her career is going up. Okay, so I don't think that Nikki's ruining careers. Okay, if anything, she's helping careers. And Winter, bitch, you need to be worried about that pointy ass BBL. Yeah, that botched ass body you got. Yeah, that sharp ass BBL you got. Yeah, what's up with that? Okay, last time I heard you, you was talking about that botched BBL you had to get removed. So let's not, let's not, let's not do this right now, Winter. Okay, it's always the people, all right, who be built funny talking. Either they built funny or they face look funny. Or not, <laughs> probably both, okay? Um, and that's my opinion on that. Um, I personally think that um, Ice Spice's career has been going up since, okay? I don't think that Ice Spice has been struggling. I'm pretty sure her bag is going up, okay? And that's my opinion on that. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and talk about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's flopping now. Maybe she's been quiet. But here's the thing, though. When people are typically quiet, it's because they're plotting on something. It's because they're they're working on something big, okay? Um, Ice Spice is working on her new album, okay? She better go on tour, okay? When so you about to be somewhere fucking random men for a dollar and a Big Mac. All right, y'all, moving on from Nicki. Um, it seems like she has sold out once again, okay? One thing, one, one thing about Nicki is she going to sell out, okay? Um, now, Target, well, was it Target? Yeah, 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 Target, okay? She had dropped... Um, some of her album on there, okay? It was a Target exclusive. It was a pink vinyl, all right? And it has sold out in less than 40 minutes, okay? 40 minutes, okay? This album is about to do numbers. This album is about to break records, for real. This album is about to break history. This album is really about to clock T. And I'm here for it, okay? At first, I was upset that the album got pushed back. But now, I don't give a fuck, because I know it's going to be popping. I know it's going to be well. Like, I'd rather have an album pushed back because it's going to be better quality than to have mishaps happening. You know what I'm saying? So that's my opinion on that. I'm ready for it. I'm here. I'm excited. Um, what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? Did you did you cop a Target vinyl? Okay? Because every time I be asking, nobody I be asking be getting it, because it be sold out so fast. Um, but yeah, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on. It seems like Tyla, oh, she's doing it big as she should, okay? Tyla is that girl, okay? Water has been doing numbers and it has gotten her over 
100 million streams. It is her first song to reach this milestone. Congratulations to Tyla. I'm very proud of her. You know, South Africa for the win, okay? For the win, all right? Now, in my opinion, personally, I'm getting kind of tired of this song, though, okay? This is not Tyla hate. This is just water hate. I'm tired of hearing it over and over and over and over and over again. Like, I, I just think that it's kind of, like, ruining the experience for me. Like, TikTok really has the power to ruin a song. It's crazy how TikTok can just make you not like a song anymore. It's just every time I turn around, somebody's grabbing an Aquafina bottle and pouring it down their ass and shaking their hips, you know? And nothing wrong with that. But it's just, I just think the repetitiveness of it all just kind of makes me itch a little bit. But I'm all here for Tyler. I'm all here for what she's doing. I'm all here for the movement. I'm all here for it, for sure. But just this damn song gotta go. I'm sorry. All right, y'all, moving on. City Girls have dropped their album. The album flopped. The album ain't making no noise. But, all right, it may not be the City Girls' fault, okay? Um, City Girls have blamed it on their label, and they also said that the promotion was the reason for it not performing well. Um, JT said that the album could have been promoted longer. It could have been done way better, okay? And I actually talked about this on my other channel, okay? Um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and tune in. What you doing? But she's basically been blaming it on, you know, the label and blaming on promotion. And I agree. I do agree. Um, but the album itself is just not good like that, you know? Um, City Girls are definitely a once-in-a-generation act, you know? They have their own style, their own unique vibe to them. You know, they have their sides of each girl that makes them special you know jt has her pros and her cons and, J and miami has her pros and her cons as well so together they make a really iconic duo um but the album to me is just not really hitting like that and also i think the label needs to let them go okay they need a new label they need a new label okay qc not cutting no more it's not 2018 no more qc needs to let them go um i need to see them let go and JT get signed to her own label and Carisha can continue doing what she's doing. Um, that's my opinion on that. I don't know. What y'all think about that? Let me know your opinion down below. Did you stream the album? The album only got like 6,000 like first week. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Like, that's... Mm, yikes. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all. Spotify will start imposing fines on record labels for fraudulent activity starting in 2024. Oh, wow. So these record labels are finally getting exposed all right and if you ask me personally i am here for it i'm so glad i am happy that finally we're putting an end to all these scammy labels and their scammy tactics okay um but my thing is this though why y'all waiting now to do that okay spotify have been around for years why are these labels just now putting it into payola okay is it because they're getting checks behind the scenes and they are finally getting called out on it and now they want to act like they care about it let's talk about it okay let's we let's talk about it, okay doja cat is one of the victims of that okay she allegedly allegedly is getting all this payola for spotify okay let's discuss it let's talk about it okay um a lot of these artists are not really popping on streaming platforms like that they're just not a lot of these artists they have a lot of bots okay for their music on these platforms all right um, so I'm glad it's getting removed. I'm happy. We're going to really see who has talent. We're going to really see who can really make the music industry shake. All right. But yes, y'all, that's all I got for you in today's video. What is your opinions on that? We could talk about that down below. All right. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Be safe. Yeah.